Good evening, Tony here, 456 Chevy Trucks and Luna Dog. Luna the Shop Dog. Hey, uh, just doing a quick walk around. Uh, a lot of activity going on at 456 Chevy Trucks. Uh, this happens to be a uh, customer 65C20. I'm just doing some mechanical, mechanical make ready on this thing. Real solid bones rig. Um, we're hoping to get started on that in the next day or so. Um, that's something we can uh, shoehorn in because it's mechanical. There's no body work and uh, paint and that kind of activity, which we're totally backed up there. Bottleneck. So if you know anybody looking for a uh, position doing uh, sheet metal, uh, body and paint, combination restoration tech type activity, uh, feel free to reach out to me, Tony, at 4-5-6chevytrucks.com. And I'd be glad to... Uh, consider resumes it's a local customer tommy salami this is his 65 uh, chevy c10 um we're pretty much wrapped on this thing it's got a few more uh a few more make ready items uh exhaust and a couple of miscellaneous small parts small items um so it's getting ready to depart uh depart four five six chevy trucks llc in kansas city kansas headed back to tommy salami's up just uh, north of the shop. So it was nice working on the uh, Johnny Speed Shop uh, tribute truck. But it's getting ready to, it's getting ready to roll on down the road. That's Dixie, 63 Chevy C30, one ton flatbed. That's our shop rig. Some of you have seen it before. The second owner of this truck, I uh, got it with less than uh, I think it had less than 25,000 original miles on it um, when I got it. So we just uh, use it to run around town. I've been uh, I've been four or five hours away from Kansas City in this hot tamale. Served me well. I'm actually considering doing a uh, a six liter or six two uh, LS conversion with a four L eighty. I'd really like to make it in a little more reliable, dependable. Um, daily driver. It's very reliable and dependable, but I can't tow with it. And it's uh, it's got a 283 power glide in it, and an Eaton Eaton uh, rear with the uh, 411s or 456s. I've never popped the cover on it, so I'm not sure. But I've got a Dana 60 with 354s that I'm considering putting in it, make it a little more driver friendly. But I'm thinking about doing the all-in LS swap on the Dixie truck. This happens to be a uh, 66 three-quarter ton four-wheel drive GMC. Um, this one happens to be for sale. Um, we have it listed on uh, Marketplace. It's a real solid daily driver type truck. Uh, 305 V6 four-speed truck. This is a 65 C10 long step. This one happens to be a 292 four-speed truck. It's for sale also on on uh, Marketplace. Real solid daily driver. We've got an active ad on Marketplace if you're interested in that truck. Or you hit me with an email. Tony at 4-5-6chevytrucks.com. I'd be glad to tell you all about it. This little baby here, affectionately named 1961. It does have 1960... Uh, factory dog dish caps on it clip style dog dish caps but i've got this one for sale as well on marketplace this happens to be a uh, 283 power glide truck it's got rust in the typical places but it's a daily di uh, daily driver quality truck um brakes are up on it uh runner driver like i said it's a 61 it's got some real real nice patina on it um, as you can see, the bedwood's still intact on this bad boy. Anyway, I guess with a name like 1961, it's probably a girl, but, uh, you get my drift. So, it was such a nice day out. I thought I'd come out and do a walk around at 456 Chevy Trucks LLC in Kansas City, Kansas. That maroon metallic uh, 65 back there that's a short bed uh, k10 
We're doing a power steering power brake conversion on it for a out of state customer. We'll be getting on that one pretty soon too, since some of these other ones uh, get rolling down the road. And then obviously, many of you, if you're familiar with 456 Chevy trucks, have uh, seen this beauty. This happens to be a 64 GMC one ton panel. It's factory one ton, 133 inch wheelbase. Happens to be adorned in uh, Chiefs attire at this time because the Chiefs just won the Super Bowl back in February. Go Chiefs. This one's for sale as well. It happens to be on, uh, I don't even know if I still have an active uh, listing on Marketplace, but if you have any interest in this truck or any of these others at 456 Chevy Trucks LLC, feel free to give me a call. 913-207-7789 or hit me up via email tony at 4-5-6 chevy trucks dot com also uh, peek around the corner here there's a 64 chevy c10 suburban there we do have an active listing on this truck on marketplace 64 chevy c10 suburban Factory second and third row seats in that one. This happens to be a barn door truck. I'm a pickup guy, so I prefer the uh, clamshells with the end gate and the lift gate. But uh, this is a nice daily driver. Um, happens to be a 283 four speed. If you have any interest in this truck or any others, once again, uh, Tony at 4 5 6 Chevy Trucks.com. Or check us out on Facebook, 456 Chevy Trucks LLC. That happens to be a customer's, out of state customer's, uh, this is a 64 Chevy K10 Suburban. It's gonna get an LS swap in it. They pull a vintage trailer up in altitude, so they want a uh, good, dependable daily driver. It's going to be a 6-liter with a 4L60 or 4L80. Um, and transfer case combination. That's pretty rare. Pretty rare truck. Um, production numbers 65 and 66. GM didn't release any production numbers. 64, but this happens to be a... Uh, so that was be a uh, clamshell clamshell truck but uh anyway the uh production numbers on the uh four door uh correction four wheel drive suburbans clamshells and barn doors fewer than 500 with clamshells and fewer than 500 with uh with uh, barn doors so it's a pretty rare pretty rare bird this is the remnants of a uh, one ton panel we saved the roof because uh, I thought it would be a good candidate for a uh, somebody's doing a four-door extended cab or a four-door crew cab. Um, lots of sheet metal there, so got a lot to work with. And then we got, oh, it's an old junk frame, I believe, from the same truck. But that's a little walk around. Four, five, oh, there's my Tahoe. That's a 2000. With over 325,000 miles on it, it's sick right now, but it's getting ready to get uh, it's getting ready to get a little loving so we can get it back on the road. Been a great truck for me. I bought it with 50,000 miles on it. It's got uh, over 325 on it. Same uh, 5.7 Vortec in it. I have put a transmission and a rear end in it, but uh, other than that, Big Red's done me done me solid. There's a couple of cabs we're reconditioning for customers. Uh, couple of frame off restoration cabs back to the suburban and with that i'm gonna call it it's getting uh getting late in the day here so we're gonna uh wrap it up for the day if you have any questions or need any parts service tech support restoration services for 60 to 66 chevy gmc trucks panels and suburbans or you just want to check out luna the shop dog um, hit me up, Tony at 4-5-6 Chevy Trucks. 
www.facebook.com or check us out on Facebook, 456 Chevy Trucks, LLC. Be safe, stay healthy.